In 2018, our two health systems, Wellmont Health System and Mountain States Health Alliance, made a deal. They announced they would become one. This new merger would create the nation's largest monopoly. Despite the Federal Trade Commission's disapproval, the health system took a leap of faith and created Ballad Health. Now, six years later, we're looking back on how we got here and where we are now. Here in Virginia and Northeast Tennessee, if these mountains could talk, they'd tell the stories of strong values, hard work, and perseverance. In an area that has nearly 960,000 people, there are also serious health issues that plague the region. The people of Appalachia face health problems like obesity, diabetes, substance abuse, and mental health issues. And if you need a hospital, you have one option, Ballad Health. Overall, how do you feel about the health care in our region? Our health care has declined greatly. I think that it is extremely lacking. I have had good, you know, experiences with health care in the Tri-Cities, but I have had bad experiences as well. Ballot Health is the largest regional health care monopoly in the country, serving 29 counties in Northeast Tennessee, Southwest Virginia, Northwest North Carolina, and Southeast Kentucky. The hospital monopoly was formed in 2018 when Mountain States Health Alliance and Wellmont Health System agreed to merge through the issuance of a certificate of public advantage, otherwise known as COPA. But that agreement didn't sit well with many. In fact, a group in Kingsport spent 257 days camped outside of Holston Valley Medical Center in Kingsport, protesting the decision. Notably, the decision to downgrade Holston Valley Medical Center from a level one to a level three and move their NICU to Johnson City. If the plan that Ballot has in, in place to eliminate this NICU here uh, if it were in, in effect at the time of my granddaughter, I don't think she would have survived the transport from here to Johnson City. If they can't get the care they need and get the equipment they need, which is not going to be provided in an ambulance with the downgrade of this facility to make it up there, their lives would be at risk. Despite protesters' efforts, the merger moved forward. I would recommend that you get interested in your health care. I would recommend that you get interested in your local politics and what's happening in your region because it matters. Those who supported the move, like President and CEO of Ballot Health, Alan Levine, say the merger was needed to improve health care costs, quality, accessibility, and overall population health. Wellmont at the time was actually on the market to be sold. They were they were actually going to partner with an out-of-region out of system. And so an entire, all of Sullivan County and a lot of Southwest Virginia they would have lost local control of their hospitals. It, the decisions would be getting made by somewhere in, in Charlotte or Nashville or somewhere else. And the, and the people that lived here didn't want that to happen and the business community didn't want that to happen. The COPA agreement didn't come without conditions though. Ballot Health agreed to increased oversight by the state and a long list of requirements like limiting price increases, maintaining quality and providing charitable donations. They also said they would invest $308 million over 10 years to improve the health in the region, some of which has been spent on expanding addiction treatment programs. If you read the COPA statute in law in both Tennessee and Virginia, it actually says they want us to reduce unnecessary duplication. So think expensive programs like trauma, level three neonatal ICU, um, wherever there's duplication that's costly that doesn't add value for patient care, um, by, by eliminating that cost and moving those dollars into things that actually would improve the quality of life for people that weren't currently offered, that was very attractive. This is just our first story, examining ballot health since the merger. This is a five-part series that continues tomorrow. Tomorrow's report features more on why ballot health decided to make decisions to consolidate and cut services.